Leo, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your weekly reading for the 20th to the 26th of July and um, I have to go away so um, I'll be back though and I'll be going live whenever I can on Monday, Wednesday and Friday as you know and um, I give away free cards and I also answer cards that are supported with a super check super chat and sorry or a super sticker now there is an uh, issue with uh, YouTube you most probably have noticed it as a viewer as well as most of the creators people are being deleted so make sure that by the robot so make sure that you have subscribed and liked um, and hit the bell and that you are subscribed and hit the bell on all so that you will be notified because um, I've lost some of my viewers and um, I'm also getting complaints from people that they are not being notified by YouTube so I do extra I notify people my viewers my cyber angels on Facebook and Instagram and also in the community tab of YouTube I leave um, a notification when I'm going live a couple of hours before I do in the community tab you will also see or keep up to date with what is happening okay perhaps sometimes there's also an other message like good morning and good night or I won't go live today things like that so keep the community tab in uh, view okay keep an eye on that now um, I'm, I, I did stop the competition as you know and I will be doing a restart but not on YouTube but on Facebook on a special page so I haven't had the time yet to do that because I want to get these videos out and done so please bear with me um, also uh, have a look at your weekly, weekly from last week and your coming up romance reading thank you very much for all your likes and your shares and it I do appreciate it and thanks my gratitude goes towards you and if you're new well please subscribe and make sure you hit the bell on all and join us in the live sessions okay so this is your video and I'm going to start off with Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and I've got the mystical sh shaman a deck a card from that I'll go into that and an answer of the angels the first card that you have is the king of swords now you could be meeting a Gemini but don't exclude Libra or Aquarius okay the king of swords is a man of wisdom is also a man um, that represents institutions and municipalities um, he's uh, also he represents wisdom eager to learn he, he cuts straight through to the core to get to the truth and get clarity if he uh, or, um, is uh, a lawyer or a Gemini and supporting you in finding the truth or a solution to something to get clarity in other words or just and he could be he fights for justice he stands for wisdom communication he can sell ice cubes to Eskimos and also justice and clarity and truth so if you have an, a, a situ, um, judicial situation he's a good person to have besides you yourself to defend you because he'll fight for you to the end okay and if you're meeting up with a Gemini or a Libra or an Aquarian I'm sure he um, they're as charming as their talk uh, <laughs> because they can charm you off your feet and be careful because once they fall in love with you they fall in love with you who climb and sinker sink sorry my English is not that good today um, God if I, uh, the angels and the guides are making me laugh you should watch the Aries um, that you know it's really funny so you might if you have rice uh, the rising sign or the moon sign as Aries then pop and have a look at uh, Aries and it will make you laugh too hopefully anyway so you could 
me coupling up because I do see the Empress here as well and the Empress stands for fertility and a new beginning and the Empress also represents Libra an air sign so this has got the air uh, representation so if you're Leo rising uh, Re Leo Sun rising Libra or uh, Gemini then uh, boom there are your cards or moon then uh, you will have the air influence that's one thing you might be eager f to find out things and get things sorted out and cut through to th the truth and come to the point in your conversations perhaps that could be in either fields okay um, also you might be more swift and active because we are also in Leo now Leo so if it is your birthday happy birthday and enjoy the day and the week there is new things coming this could be your birthday present Whoa, that's something new okay or something unexpected Whoa, and it's very swiftly okay so you could be also meeting a Libra like I said so Libra is definitely and Gemini is a, f a focal point okay now the Empress means also fertile so if you don't if you want to get pregnant then this could be a very fertile moment if you don't want to get pregnant then take precautions this could be birth of a child this in, that you could be hearing of or ex um, actually finding out that you're pregnant but you could be hearing of a birth of a child or of a project perhaps an, a Gemini has an idea or a Libra has an idea and puts a proposal uh, in front of you and that could be the new project and a new partnership because I do see king and woman empress they are of the same caliber they in the olden days you weren't allowed to marry somebody outside your status um, but today in the modern world that is good uh, thank goodness past times so boom uh, they are of the same caliber so uh, yes uh, the Empress is as uh, like the Emperor higher than the Kings so you could be coupling up with somebody quite strong and who has the King status okay in a partnership in love or in business because the king of swords is quite a businessman okay you uh, he, they will be away with the air they'll be very spontaneous but you are earthy because the empress uh, represents mother earth so she's got two feet on the ground so this is where the balance in the relationship will be or you could be Leo with air sign and um, earthy although this is Libra the mother earth is earthy she's somebody that nurtures she th plants seeds and she nurtures them to grow and sprout and grow and blossom and harvest so this project that you might be doing with somebody else uh, could be uh, bear fruit and could have returns because when you plant something then you nurture it and it should be bringing back its returns like you have annual plants and you have per annual plants so be the empress and plant something for return dividends if you know what I mean um, so when you make for instance for instance you make an investment then make sure that it is clear to you that it is something that is will return its dividend each season each phase uh, it might be an investment for every year and you get your dividend or it might be every five years but see the return um, in the end of the week on Friday you have the three of swords now I never liked this the three of swords but the Shadowlands gave me an other vision of the Three of Swords um, because the Shadowlands we, I'm using the Enchanted Dream Tarot and it's just it's 
just as beautifully done as the Shadowlands um, but uh, also in this card you have butterflies it might be a loss it could be a loss of a job it could be a loss of a friend it could be a loss of a loved one it could be a loss of uh, a thing an item and you know you might have have a broken heart don't worry there are people around you like a mother figure like a father figure a mature man might be around a mature woman a friend to uh, listen to you and support you don't shy away um, from asking from help and like in the Shadowlands they there he is or she is wearing a pair of sunglasses now she's hiding be beneath a veil don't hide behind a mask or a veil or sunglasses show your true emotions okay don't hide away work through your emotions get some help to work through your emo emotions or speak to somebody about it so you can get clarity on how to move on because if you are staying stuck in this emotion and you've closed off your heart to beautiful things you will not be able to move on and receive so cut away from the sadness open your heart open your solar plexus and open your mind and your vision to new things there are new things coming to you this is the start of something new this could be something that is direct swift and spontaneous and you've got the two of pentacles you will be able to find emotional balance again let alone financial balance like I said invest in something that returns its dividend perhaps you lost money in an investment so make sure you talk to a mature person that knows the business okay and I got to hear I tell you the truth I usually don't pay attention to cards when I lay them out but I didn't do that to the other three but at the weekend I got the two of pentacles and I got to hear the power of two and here we've got the couple join forces if necessary listen I always ask a second opinion the power of two okay don't just decide if you haven't got experience especially if you haven't got experience don't start dabbling and investing in something that you are not sure of you don't want to lose out and have a broken heart and trying to maintain uh, the financial balance so I think the loss is more of a financial balance something that grew but didn't come to fruition boom we all learn from our mistakes so the power of two remember the power of two this is what I got to hear and, and together we stand strong that is the uh, thing that we say don't we okay well take note the power of two now you've got got an air air here okay although it is the earth okay you have arrow and the arrows fly through the air as well now the air is going upwards and there again you've got two planets it could be Earth, earth and moon there you go so an air the arrow moves swiftly through air so things will be happening swiftly and three the number is three that is creativeness okay now the card I'm going into the card receiving the symbol the arrow reminds you that when you are in alignment with your heart and soul you are on target and will soon be hitting your mark well what did I say <laughs> moving swiftly be true to your calling release attachments and free yourself from bondage and unbridled ambition so take off this mask take off this veil take off the dark glasses and unbridle to your ambition try again 
my mother used to say if you've um, failed or if something hasn't succeeded or something has gone bad and you've fallen over stand up dust yourself off and try again now is revealed to be a moment of contact in which you intend intention meets the material world the arrow also symbolizes the need to set your creativity three free okay and this is number three as well so you you have three three double number angel number good luck is on your side try again don't give up but do it wisely okay ask somebody mature the invitation when the arrow sings through the air it is inviting you to pay attention and si signifying that you are about to make your mark in some aspect of your life it illuminates the moment of contact when you know that your desires and intentions have travelled on the wind and landed in the perfect place for your highest good boom a new love like Cupid and that's what I'm getting through now trust that your job is to be relaxed yet focused keep your eye on the prize yet releasing your intention with full expectation that it will land as it is supposed to do don't worry about the how or the exact form this is not the time to interfere with the manner in which the arrow flies it will make its mark and you will have cause to celebrate there you go come out of this self-pity partying situation you are in transformation three 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 lucky number ask for help ask for advice get don't shy away from support love and warmth and tenderness there's many ways of love okay if it is a boyfriend or a girlfriend that has fallen away and which you had a relationship with then they're not they're they're not worth it to have you just remember that there will be somebody coming in that will be right for you there's a lid for every jar don't pity party move on but come together with somebody else but you can only come together when you open your heart and your solar plex and your mind and stop hiding your emotions or behind a veil or a mask wow Cupid is here because we've got the man and the woman here so there could be a couple you could be coupled up don't stop have faith open your heart okay go with the speed of lightning the lights the air wow magic you've got two symbols of air there the arrow and the sword now use your wisdom okay so I hope you've enjoyed this reading take care and stay strong and stay positive enjoy the week ciao ciao please share and like thank you for watching the video i hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and i'll see you in the life monday wednesday or friday ciao ciao